Hi everyone, I got a question about the gallery test and how that's different or the same as circulating tumor DNA. So let's talk about this. All of the cells in our body shed DNA into the bloodstream and that's called cell-free DNA and we can pick that up in the blood. Now that could come from healthy cells or that can come from cancer cells. And if it comes from cancer cells, it's also going to be termed circulating tumor DNA. The gallery test is a cancer screening test. And the way that it's designed to work is by looking at your blood and trying to see if that cell-free DNA, if it all comes from healthy cells or if there's any that comes from cancer cells. And the way that it does that is by looking at different methylation patterns. So cancer cells will have these small molecules called methyl groups added to them that can change the activity of the DNA. So that's what the gallery test is looking for. It's really trying to pick up, is there a cancer signal in the blood? And based on the patterns, it can try to figure out maybe where it's coming from. But what's really important is that it's not a diagnostic test. So it might say there is a signal for colon cancer, for example, and then you would need to do the workup with colonoscopy and, and so forth. Now there are false negatives and there are, are false positives, um, but there are ongoing clinical trials to really try to get more robust data behind the gallery test. So it's not being routinely used in clinical practice at this time, but that certainly may change with more clinical trial data. So essentially, the gallery test is looking for that circulating tumor DNA. In When someone's already been diagnosed with cancer, in certain cancers, we can use circulating tumor DNA testing to assess responsive therapy, see if someone has developed certain mutations that would change treatment patterns, um, screen for residual disease or surveillance. Um, but what's different is when someone's already been diagnosed with cancer, the circulating tumor DNA assay is really a tumor-informed assay. And what I mean by that is that they use your original cancer and the original pathology to make an assay that they can screen for in the blood to pick up those specific cancer cells. So it's a little bit different. It's not screening for all of the cancers, but it's trying to see are there cancer cells specific to that person's original cancer diagnosis. So that's a little bit of the difference. Now circulating tumor DNA and its use really varies depending on the type of cancer and there is more data for using it in certain types of cancer than others. There's also a lot of research and clinical trials ongoing. And so that's that Signaterra test that we talk a lot about in breast cancer, colon cancer, and other cancers as well. Um, I hope that's helpful and just um, delineates the two a little bit better, but let me know any of your questions.